Okay, a quick tutorial to show how to use Stixi.com to create a wall where other people can participate by adding notes, photos, documents, and also comments. Okay, so you just create your account at Stixi.com, then come here and click Create New Stixi Board. Okay, as soon as you create your new Stixi Board, you can also come here and edit the options. Um, you add a title, okay, places to go. Uh, you can add uh, tags and description and it's very important that you, if you want your students to participate in the wall to allow guests to view and allow guests to add and remove, remove and edit widgets. Click Save. So let's see, now to add a note you just drag and drop and you can type whatever you want. I'd love to visit Greece. Okay? Now you can change the color of the note too. So I'll change it to blue if I want to. I can resize it. And I can also add a link. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy this video about Greece and I'm going to add this link to the note. So there it is. I can also add a photo. Click Add Photo and I grab a photo from um, my computer. Okay. Open Add Photo. I can rotate the photo. I can use some effects if I want to. Okay, now I want, oops, sorry, I clicked on the link. Okay, going back. Um, now, I can also, uh, if I want my sticky note to be at the front, I just come here, bring to the front. I can position, this, position the note as I want to, so it's going to be here. Um, like I said, you can also ask people to share documents with you. So you just click Add Document, you search for the document you have um, in your computer and share it with other people. Okay. Open and add the document. Okay, as you can see, I have just shared a PDF file uh, on the wall. Now, if I want to invite other people to participate in the wall, I can either click share and send uh, the link to people via email or I can click options and uh, grab the URL here so I just select copy and send it to my contacts so that they can participate as well. So let me show you how it looks. And this is how the wall will look. So for other people to participate, I, they just come and add other notes and add other things to the wall. So how can we use this with students? Well, you can build walls where students uh, add photos of their bedrooms and describe them, or uh, add photos of their houses, of their neighborhoods, their pets. So there are several things students can um, add photos, links like I showed you, and write a text as well. Okay? So it's up to our imagination.